I've been doing quite a bit of work the last day or two, haven't been filming it. Um, I got my upper control arms cleaned up. Uh, these were just caked with grease and whatnot. So got them cleaned up. The lower control arms were actually a bit more work because these are actually starting to show some rust and pitting. So I went through and got it down. I've been working on these things. It's kind of hard to get in here. I can't get in there with the wheel, um, uh, wheel on the drill. So I'm going to, I've got it, I think as clean as I'm going to get it now. I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a, a rust converter so that any, any of the surface rust that is on here uh, will get converted. Then I'll prime it and then I'll paint it gloss black. Let's, uh, let's see what this looks like. All right, apparently what I bought was a rust preventative primer. Well, let's wipe them down a little bit more. I thought I had it all off of there. I was wiping it down with a little bit of degreaser. Apparently some got through on the back side. I wasn't paying attention. I tried to get this as clean as I could. Didn't want to paint over grease or dirt or rust any more than I had to. This car is pretty much guaranteed never to see any significant amount of moisture. I'm sure I'll get caught in the rain at some point going to a car show, but it's not going to be a daily driver that's going to see stuff on a regular basis. All right, you should be good. Just give her a real quick tack coat here, a primer. This stuff dries kind of, uh, kind of dull, which really helps you see any areas that you missed if you were trying to smooth stuff, stuff out, uh, which I did have. I, I went ahead and, and uh, filed down some of the hacks that have gotten into this over the years. Filed down like this spot here. Doesn't look like I filed it, but it was way worse than that before. Just want to give her a light coat. Don't want to completely cover. Okay, I'll come back to that. I want to make sure I just get every spot a little bit. come back to that all right so I've been looking at the a-arm here I'd forgot about this damage that I had on this hole and actually the way that these sway bar links work um, the rubber piece actually goes in the hole and it more than fills that up and when this gets compressed down um, I mean it's made to isolate it right because um, you wouldn't want metal on metal and so that should hold quite well so I am not, I am not worried about that at all. I'll put this back together so I don't forget how this went. This piece goes in between. So yeah, that should work just fine. I was worried that that damage had to be repaired, and this is the largest one, and it still fits plenty snug. To say this rubber takes up majority of that space. What happened, the reason it got damaged is because these rubbers got wore out on the last one. And then it was metal rubbing against metal. So I'm going to finish the, uh, going to finish the priming here. I'm going to go grab myself some lunch. Well, it's actually more of a breakfast, honestly. Let's get this. Technically, the rest of the first coat on here. So basically, when you start hearing metal against metal, replace them. It's just the rubber part that went bad. So that's not wallowed out so much that that rubber won't fit in there snug. That was where my concern was. 
What a person could do, I suppose, if you were really concerned, could drill that out larger and put a sleeve in there. Um, or, as I mentioned before, just weld it if you have a welder, which I don't. All right, I'm gonna go grab some food. Been working on the other arm a little bit. What is wrong here? Oh, that is a big hat, yeah. All right, there's my other coat of primer. I'm gonna work on the other arm. Um, I'll be back in a little bit. It'll be almost instantaneous for you. Make sure I get up underneath here. Want this to have a real good coat of primer. Done with the primer. Looking pretty good. This is just uh, some Krylon Rust Protector Gloss Enamel. I did that on my other pieces as well. This stuff you gotta be a little careful of or you will get runs but it has a really nice finish when you're done. I've been very, very happy with this so far. But you have to watch your coats. Don't get crazy. Get any extra paint off the tip. You know, it is just spray can. All right. Same thing here. Give it just a dusting coat good tack coat for the rest of it to stick to. Then I'll come back. There we go. I'll be back. I'm gonna make sure I don't mix up the primers and the paint. Nice heavy coat now. Everything should stick. Try to keep from getting it so I don't get it runny. Nobody wants runs, right? Of course, this bottom part, nobody will ever see unless it's up on a rack. But this paint really is more for protection. Keep it from getting rusty. There we go. Oh, she's looking nice. I went with gloss on these since the springs are gloss. It's probably not the original factory finish. But she's got to look sharp. All right, let that dry a little bit. I actually hadn't gotten my lunch yet, so I'm gonna. Go, I just got back. I'm gonna go eat my lunch now while that dries. All right, just kind of wanted to show you how I set this up. When it's flipped over the other way, clamp on the edges here, and then when it's up, then I clamp on the base here. And this has been working pretty good to get these cleaned. And I just went and got some more brushes from uh, Harbor Freight and pretty much got it cleaned up as much as you're going to get cleaned up. And then I'll, uh, it just keeps getting surface rust because I, I keep leaving it for a couple of hours. So I'm going to get it all wiped down and uh, then we'll get this thing sealed or primed and painted and uh, we should be good.
I don't know how much of this you're actually going to be able to see. But uh, I had cleaned off the majority of this. But then once I got the uh, upper and lower control arms off, uh, there was a lot of mud and grease under here. get this all wheeled down the entire front piece here I'm gonna spray the firewall again with some cleaner get that all degreased hit this all again with uh, with some fresh paint let's see how well this engine mount comes off probably got to turn from the other side oh it broke loose Like I said, imagine the whole thing's gonna turn on me. Oh, that one came loose. Wonder if they have like a little pocket on the other side or something that those are in. All right, let's get these out now. Well, that came out a lot easier than I expected. I think the trick here is though, yeah, it's gonna spin. Inside the frame, that was close. All right, where'd that other bolt go? She fell out. Where'd she fall to? May fall inside the frame, probably. All right, let's get this other bolt out of here. And then we'll get the magnet out and fish that crap out of there. Oh, the bolts, <laughs> bolts on the, uh, right on the uh, socket. It didn't fall out at all. Okay. Oh, the bolts right here. Here it is. So I don't have to go fishing for any of them right now. All right, well, let's be careful with this last one then. And then we don't have to do on any fishing expeditions. All right, let's see about getting this one up in there. Clean this up and put it back on. 
Right, I'm gonna do the other one now. Same procedure. So this one, <laughs> just more of the same. Um, just, it's just caked in there. Just dirt. There's dirt down in the frame down here. Um, that's bad. Get the rest of this cleaned up so I can get some primer on here. Maybe I can actually start putting parts back on the car. All right, um, just went ahead and gave her a, just a really light coat. I can still see some of the primer coming through. Uh, we'll let that dry for about 15 or 20 minutes. Then we'll come back, put another coat on. I've been doing three coats of the uh, glossy enamel, the Krylon. Um, so it dries in eight minutes. So. Uh, it's kind of cool and humid today, so I'll give her a good 10 to 15 minutes before I hit her with another coat so I don't get any runs. All right, so here's my engine mounts. These are not identical, but they're really close. Driver's side gets the deep, the deep one, and this was on the car like that. Um, other way I'm thinking there we go because that goes on there bolt uh, the nut toward the back there we go and then the short one was on the passenger side this will go with the this is on this will be on the car like this this will be on the engine like this there we go. And that's uh, the nut comes out that side. Or it's on the back side, so you pull the engine engine mount bolts out from the front. Okay. Well, I better go get some. I don't think I have bolts for this. Um, they did not come with these, so I've got to get engine mount. Oh, no, I bought those. Actually, I bought the engine mount bolts already. Um, but what I did not buy was bolts for this. So I'm going to go buy some grade 8s to replace the ones that were in the car. Uh, it's 53 year old stuff. I might as well go ahead and replace it. No use in trusting really old hardware. It's gotta hold my engine in. So if I'm gonna clean that up, I might as well go ahead and replace it. Paint job is finished. Look how shiny that is. It's a little tacky yet, so that's why I'm picking it up from the bottom. So the battery went dead. I, I got the outside done, but this one is, uh, Remember I said the engine mounts weren't the same? This one's deeper, so my brush doesn't fit down in here. So I just sprayed some engine, uh, some engine cleaner and greaser down in here. And we'll work them around with a smaller brush. And that should get all of this stuff out of this, down here where I couldn't get with my drill and the wire brush. You know what? Better yet, I'm gonna hang these up. Then I can do them both at the same time. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm gonna hang this one here. The wire on there. Put this one through the wire. Same thing, kind of just kind of twist it. All right, I knew I could get this to work. Just bring this up here, twist it into this one, and just kind of give this a kink. As long as it's not too heavy, they won't fall into each other. You could try to do this with really heavy pieces, this probably won't work. But anyway, that's how you can hang multiple pieces. I, I could set up some other wiring, but. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean these up some more and then uh, we'll go ahead and get them with some primer all the way around and then we'll paint the outside gloss black and we'll call her good.
Okay, another coat in a minute. Well, 10 minutes. Okay, one more coat of primer. And that first one was pretty light. I had one that had a booger over here, so I took care of that already. So that's kind of the other reason that this needs a, another coat. I'm not gonna bother with the bother with the underside. I've already kind of hit that with. Looks pretty good under there. It's not getting painted anyway, so we'll wait for this to flash, and then we'll come back and we'll put our final coat on there. three coats of that. Let's give these their final coat. Really light coat this last one. And these are just engine mounts. So no point in wasting a lot of paint on them. Already wasted enough time on them. While I was waiting for those to dry I was over here trying to clean up this uh, the upper control arm shaft and uh, I tried to run the nuts on here and I noticed that it's basically stripped out um, they a lot of people warned about that that that's pretty typical um, so I'm just gonna order two new shafts and bolts um, it's not worth messing with that you know obviously if that comes loose your same thing your front wheel falls off so I'm gonna order that I'll have that in a couple days I'm sure all right, I think I'm going to call that a day for working on the, working on cleaning up and everything. Um, I've got a lot of this work to do on the frame. i got to vacuum out the inside, do some more work down here. Uh, so I think I'll make that another video. But again, thanks for everybody for following along. Um, a lot of this stuff is just a lot of busy work, uh, a lot of cleaning, a lot of patience. Uh, and don't be afraid if, like, I found that shaft just now that has the thread stripped out. Don't have a lot of choices there. You don't want to take chances with that. Just go ahead and order it. Order a new one. Thanks again for everybody who's been following along. Um, share with your friends. I'm hoping to have this uh, cleaned up. And hopefully I'll bring you along for the priming and painting. And uh, that'll be in the next video. Thanks again. Have a great day.